What is up guys, it is Nistro here, and today I got you guys another deck profile of uh, something a little different. Uh, well, I've been saying that all week, <laughs> but this time I actually mean it. I mean, how many times do you see me do Cardians, something like Cardians? I mean, so Cardians are um, an archetype that's pretty weird and pretty like hard to get into because um, like they all look the same. <laughs> like the first time I tried to build this deck uh, by myself, it was... Uh, it was kind of hard for me because like it's like all these cards look the same they all have like a block of text and you don't know what like half of them do like like how like you, you like you confuse the effects because like they all look like each other so it's like like it's easy to like misinterpret what one does and mix it up with what another does and um there's an easy solution for this uh so but before i get into that um i want to give a shout out to the marion gaming uh i hope i pronounced that right so the way I met this guy is uh, on Zodiac Duelist, uh, this guy was posting about uh, how he was like top keck with his Cardians. Uh, most people thought he was like shit posting or like uh, bringing up bait or something. And then he, and then eventually he was like, uh, you know, like most of these people can't hard, can't handle these Cardians. Uh, anybody who wants like the actual list could just PM me for this fire, right? This fire list, right? So I PM'd him since uh, I recently got Cardians in real life. So I was curious to see... Um, how this uh, so-called guy, you know, would uh, play uh, Cardians, and uh, he definitely uh, led me in the right way. So we, uh, he gave me the build at first, and then we started talking about it and talk about why we play this ratio, you know. And um, we we definitely uh, came to terms, uh, came to good terms on uh, how to play the deck. Um, I, I did play test it a lot. He actually play tested it a lot as well. He said that he uh, what. Uh, Two one uh, Jonathan Morris Dinos and um, it's actually a real good semi competitive uh, deck for you guys to play um, and uh, we'll go over that a bit more later but um, yeah so uh, shout outs to him uh, and we do have another build of Cardians going up tomorrow uh, based on something a little different uh, a little kind of like hybrid deck um, that's based on a bit of a different engine but it's pretty much still the same deck. And uh, it, it goes. It can go off even crazier because of that one card. But so stay tuned for that. But uh, for right now, we just got ourselves uh, regular Cardians, uh, pretty much just uh, pretty standard uh, of everything. And uh, looking at this deck profile, like I never thought I would play a deck where every single copy of the card you run is three copies. Every single card in this deck is just three copies of everything. And I remember first my first time playing this deck, it was like I didn't know how many ratios to run. It's just you run three of certain ones and you forget the rest, all right? Now, so as I said before, the way that you would uh, differentiate um, the Cardians between the, um, the the different types of Cardians is so there are base forms and there are the regular Cardians um, the generic cardians, and then there are the um, the higher forms of those base forms. So there are four base forms. They have a hundred attacks. So it's uh, Polonia. I, I hope I say that right. Uh, Willow, Zebra Grass, and Pine. Now you'll know that these are the base forms because they have a hundred attack and a hundred defense. So these are the ones that you can special summon when you control a cardian that is a certain level or, or lower. Other than Pine, Pine being the only Cardian in the entire archetype that you can actually normal summon. And he actually lets you draw a card when, when you normal summon him. He's actually one of the uh, one of the Cardians that you actually want to uh, open with um, in the deck because he's one of the only Cardians that can be summoned like with like no cost at all. So it's definitely very helpful. Um, Zebra Grass, uh, well you control level 7 or lower, Cardian Monster, you special summon him from your hand. Um, Willow, while well, you control level 10 or lower, Cardian Monster, you special summon from your hand, and he's level 11. So they're always one level higher than the monster that they require. And Polonia, he's level 12, so he requires level 11 or lower. Now, understand that no two Cardians are, are the same level, except for the ones that are base forms and they're higher forms. So one, and the example of this is uh, Willow. So Willow is a base form, he has 100 attack, but his higher form is Willow with Calligrapher. So if a Cardian has Whiff in its name, or or mo mo most of the time, and it has 2,000 attack, 
is usually a higher form of a nutter cardian, especially since it requires tributing a cardian of its of its level. And so since this cardian is level 11, that you tribute a level 11 to, to summon, if you bring out this level 11, it allows you to have access to things like Ultimaya and uh, this, this utter Exodia Crimson Dragon looking thing. I, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name, so uh, Phantasmal Lord Ultimil Bishbalki? I don't know. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, the higher forms, uh, now in this build, um, with Kalifer is the only one that you run. But normally there is four of them because there's four base forms. So, but uh, they aren't really that necessary, and they do clog up the deck a bit more. So it's understandable why my my man Debarian Gaming uh, took them out uh, after all of his playtesting. So let's get into how this uh, the deck profile and how all these cards work together. So Polonia, when you control level eleven or lower, you special them from your hand. And you can't normal summon or special summon monsters for the rest of the turn except for Flower Cardians. So remember that. Because there are going to be times where you want to go into other things, but you can't do that if you uh, special summon these guys by, or the base forms by their own effect. Now, he is the slowest one of all. Uh, Polonia is the slowest uh, Cardian of all the Cardians. So his effect is one is targeted for an attack. You negate the attack, you end the battle phase, and you draw a card. It's decent, but who's going to attack it knowing that it has that effect? So it's kind of like, uh, okay, it's... So next we have Flower Cardian Willow with, with Calligrapher. So you tribute Willow to summon it. And, um, because no other Cardian is level 11. Unless you run, shump, run a card that would change the levels, um, it, most times there wouldn't be another a level 11 Cardian. So uh, when he's uh, normal or special summon, you draw a card. So that's what every single Cardian is going to do. When, other than uh, Polonia, when every single Cardian, other, and the Synchros as well, uh, when every single Cardian in your deck is normal or special summoned, or special summoned in most cases, um, you're going to draw a card, and if you do, you show, uh, uh, you show it. And uh, if it is a Cardian, uh, in Caligrapher's case, you would special summon it, uh, the Cardian monster. But that's only if um, you meet the conditions to summon it. So... Like, um, a lot of these Cardians say must first be special summoned, um, like even Kaligu for himself. So if you can't special summon the monster, then you keep it. But if it is not a Cardian monster, it gets sent to the graveyard. So any card that you would draw that isn't a Cardian monster would get sent to the graveyard, which is why we run so many of them. And it's why it's kind of okay we can go over 40. It's kind of like when Light Swords mill a lot. You kind of want to see your Light Sword monsters get milled. And, you know, there may be a time or two where you want a spell or trap card to get milled, but you're more focused on milling your monsters. So, in Cardians, you're focused on drawing your Cardian monster, so you always want them on the top of your deck. And uh, when you draw certain spell cards, they would have to get milled to the graveyard. In some cases, it will be fine, like Recardination, but in other cases, it would be a bad thing, like Flower Gathering or um, Desynchro. So, yeah. And uh, when this card is used as Synchro material, uh, this guy's a tuner, I, I forgot to mention that. Uh, there's two tuners in the deck. And uh, the Synchros, they have weird summoning conditions because the level 10 one requires five monsters pretty much and level eight one requires four monsters. And when uh, you use this card as a tuner, every single monster is treated as a level two monster. So um, pretty much to summon out the level 10 Synchro that's pretty broken, pretty much one of the, the best monsters in the deck, um, you would need five monsters. So five Cardian monsters and uh, you won't have to worry about their, their levels because the tuner will just make all of them level 2. Just make sure you only have one tuner on the board and uh, you'll be fine. And um, yeah, same thing for level 8. You just use four monsters because uh, the level 8 requires like four monsters. Like there's no like two or more, three or more. Like it's like literally just one and three. So four monsters in total. And you know, even, even at that point, you can still just use the tuner. So yeah. So next we have Flower Cardian Willow, which is my favorite one. Um, when you control 10 lower, level 10 lower uh, Flower Cardian, you must special summon from his hand, and then you know um, you can't special summon other than Cardians for the rest of the turn. And now once per turn, you target a Flower Cardian monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into your deck, and then draw a card. So the thing I like about him is that he, uh, he recycles your Cardians, and um, it doesn't matter what card you draw. So if you draw a spell card, um, you won't have to discard it. 
Um, so it's definitely very helpful. And it, and the fact is that none of these effects are like once per turn. So you can go, you can use multiple willows per turn. If you control a willow, you can special another willow as long as you meet the summoning conditions. So uh, you can use it, like just keep using the effect. And uh, in the other deck um, with uh, the special tech, which I don't feel like revealing yet, <laughs> uh, it, it willow actually uh, loops himself uh, quite a bit. So it, it's definitely very good. So next we have Maple with Deer. So Maple with Deer, uh, is a generic cardian. So when I say generic, it means he could tribute any cardian. He's not like a with calligrapher where you have to tribute a level, a certain level. Like you just tribute any cardian, you special summon it, you draw a card for his effect, and then you know if it's a cardian, you get the effect. So, yeah. Uh, when he's special summoned, you draw a card, and uh, if you do, you show it to your opponent. And if it's a flower cardian monster, you get to MST a, a spell and trap card on the field, or that your opponent controls. It's not on the field. You can't target your own. Um, I don't think you would want to target your own anyway, but yeah, uh, it's it's just uh, a level ten, um, and the artworks uh, in this uh, in this archetype can kind of like uh, it, it's kind of something that you kind of have to look at because sometimes you may confuse one with another because the pose is the same, but the artwork uh, on the Cardian monster is different. So uh, if you memorize them by their artworks or um, by their artworks with their effects, I, I think that'll be like something that will make you learn to deck faster rather than learning all the cards by name. Like learning cards by artwork is like uh, something you, you kind of have to do in this deck. <laughs> so uh, just uh, just be wary of that. So yeah, um, Maple with Deer is the one that just pops back row. So if you get, um, so it's better second turn than first turn, but you know, um, at the end of the day, uh, there may be a time where you just want to use it to draw a card and to draw a cardian anyway um, during first turn. So uh, don't worry about that if you if you have to do that. So zebra grass, he is a base form, so he can be summoned uh, by himself. You don't have to tribute. And uh, when he when you can draw level seven or lower cardian monster, you summon him. And uh, if he's normal or special summoned, uh, you reveal any number of flower cardian monsters in your hand. You shove them into your deck and draw the same number of cards. So he's kind of like the magical mallet for Cardians, and uh, he can be helpful if you like have like Willow with Calligrapher and you uh, don't draw any Willows, or if you have like Polonias and you don't want Polonia. You know, honestly, I think Polonia is like my least favorite Cardian because it just doesn't do anything uh, by itself. It's like you have to wait for your opponent to attack it, but it's 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 more like just used for like sacred material. But um, there are situations where it can be useful. So. Um, yeah, um, it's level 8, so I, I guess you can use it for, like, overlays if you have multiple ones. If you feel like using uh, the the higher form of this card, and uh, if you feel like using, like, number 38, you can probably do that if you want. But uh, we're kind of concerned about consistency in this deck because um, with the higher form one of the Zebra Grass, you, you'd have to attribute Zebra Grass to summon it. So it's... It's risky. So next we have Clover with Boar, and he's another generic Cardian. Um, so when you tribute a Cardian monster, you special summon him and you draw a card. And when you do draw that card, you show it. If it's a flower Cardian monster, you get to pop a monster your opponent controls. So it gets rid of your opponent's monsters. Um, just uh, getting rid of the front row. So. You get rid of any problem monsters, probably. Um, again, it's something that you kind of want to use second turn. You don't want to use too many of these guys uh, first turn, and uh, unless you kind of have to, or unless you want to draw cards. So, but he still has a nice effect, and being able to clear the board and having um, field control is always a good thing. So next we have a peony with butterfly. So he's another generic cardian where you tribute a monster, you special summon it, you draw a card. If it's a flower card, you monster. This one is the one that I actually like a lot. I like it better than Willow with, uh, with a Calligrapher. Uh, because um, what you get to do is you get to look at your opponent's top three cards in your deck. You get to put them in any order and then put them either back on the top or bottom of the deck. Um, so, But remember, if you choose the top, they all go on the top. If you choose the bottom, they all go on the bottom. So you, you change the order and then you choose either a top or bottom. You know, sometimes, uh, like, uh, I remember, like, this is better, like, this is amazing first turn. But, you know, sometimes you can get scared 
where it's like, okay, so you see their next three cards, and you're like, okay, I don't know what they have in their hand right now, but uh, I know that if I let them have this card, like, they might have, like, a draw card where they can still draw into it, so you just put them all at the bottom and just hope that their currently next top cards aren't as good. You could do that, or you could just um, keep them all on top and just hope that they don't have anything that uh, helps them draw or search or anything like that. So, well, I mean, if it helped them search, then it wouldn't matter if they have, a, like, a road or anything. But, uh, yeah, uh, so Peony with Butterfly is also a tuner, so, and it also has the same condition as Calligrapher. So, when you use it for a Synchro Summon, all Cardians are treated as a level 2 monsters, and, you know, it definitely helps. So, next we have uh, Flower Cardian Cherry Blossom with Curtain. Its name is way too long. But, um... He's the only Cardian that can special summon itself, regardless of uh, like whether you control the monster or not. Because every other Cardian requires you to tr uh, to control the monster to summon it. Like what? Like the generic ones require you to tribute. The base forms require you to to uh, have a monster of a certain level to special summon themselves. Him, you just draw a card and reveal it. So you activate his effect in the hand. You draw a card, you reveal it, and if the drawn card is a flower Cardian monster, that's when he gets to special summon himself. So by technicality, he is the most risky Cardian to summon because if you activate his effect and you don't have a, a Cardian um, on top of your deck, then both him and the card you drew get discarded. So it's like minus one if you don't get a Cardian. So this deck is kind of reliant on luck sometimes. So uh, be be careful of that. <laughs> and uh, he's also a hand trap as well. So if you want to keep him in your hand, um, he also gives you a benefit. For that, because during either player's damage step, when a, when your flower cardian monster battles an opponent's monster, you discard his card, and the battling monster gains a thousand attack until the end of the turn. So, uh, he definitely does help. Uh, well, I, I don't think he would help get over certain monsters because if you looked at your level ten synchro, that thing has five thousand attack. You 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 will not need to use this card. Like maybe on one of the smaller synchros, smaller uh, cardian synchros, but for Curtain, I think, it, um, or not, for Light Flare, it wouldn't matter. So next we have Triple Pine. Uh, when he's normal summon, you draw one card and you reveal it, then you send it to the graveyard unless it is a Flower Cardian. So uh, he's just a regular normal summon. You draw a, uh, a card, and if it's a Flower Cardian, you keep it. If not, you discard it. But at the same time, he, he gets to stay on the field. And when he is uh, destroyed by battle, or by card effect and sent to a graveyard, um, you get to draw a card as well. So um, it's double benefit. Um, if he is actually destroyed by uh, Solid Morning or Solemn Strike, um, you still actually get to draw a card. So, you know, either way, um, even if they like negate his summon, he's still destroyed by opponent's card effect, so you still get to draw a card. But uh, you won't have a cardian on the field, so it's kind of like give and take. So just be wary of that. So next we have Flower Stacking, which is probably my favorite spell card in this deck, just because, not only because of the name, but because the effect is just so good. So it, it kind of does what, what its, its, its name says. So you just choose three Flower Cardians with different names from your deck, place them on top of your deck in any order. This, it, now that's, that, that's the main thing that we want to focus on, because uh, what I usually do is I get a uh, Curtain, uh, butterfly and um, usually like a willow um, at the bottom so what I would do is uh, I would probably put like curtain on top and then use a card that lets me draw a curtain and then the curtain can just use itself so I wouldn't have to tribute anything and get butterfly and then butterfly would uh, tribute uh, one of the two cardio monsters you have and then uh, get you a willow and so you can special summon that willow that's automatically three cardians off of just two cards so and then willow could uh, Get, uh, get you back one and then draw you another card so you kind of wouldn't be losing too much you probably only lose one card in hand for three cardian monsters which isn't really a bad uh, which isn't a bad deal at all so flower stacking also has a, a graveyard effect that during your main phase except the turn this card presents to the graveyard sadly you can banish this card from your graveyard uh, target one flower cardian monster in your graveyard add it to your hand so he's the warrior returning alive i remember before this card came out people were attacking the warrior returning alive in this deck you don't need it anymore all right, and uh, you're going to use the graveyard effect once per turn. The main effect where you can choose three, you can use, you do that as many times as you want, but the graveyard effect you only use once per turn. 
The problem with this card is, is that if you get it with a Cardian effect, if you draw off of a Cardian monster's effect, which is kind of what I don't like about this deck, is that they don't support their spawn trap cards as well as they should. Um, you don't get to keep it, so it gets dropped, and um, you can't use its effect until next turn. So it's pretty sad. So we play triple desynchro. Um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, the light flare requires five monsters to summon, and the light shower requires four monsters to summon at least. Right. So when you desynchro them, now make sure that you that you summon them all properly because every cardian says must first be summoned uh, by its own effect, or a lot of a lot of them do. And there are a few cardian uh, a few cardian cards that allow you to summon cardians like ignoring their summoning conditions. So just be wary of when you summon them properly and when you didn't. And when you did, you can uh, you can use a desynchro on your synchro, and then you summon out those five cardians again. Now, those five Cardians, if they all have an effect that activates when they are special summoned, all five of their effects will activate, and you will go so much plus, it is crazy. And um, me and uh, Demarion Gaming were talking about Desynchro in Cardians, and uh, it definitely is going to be better in Link format. Now, it is a bit risky, because you know how Cardians work. Um, Cardians, uh, they, they kind of have to take their... Uh, you kind of have to take a risk when you're drawing cards. So if you don't open desynchro, prob probability is is that if you draw desynchro, it's going to get dropped. So um, there are times where it may actually be dead in your hand and not helpful. But most time, but if you can pull it off, you're going to go major plus if if you you know you did it properly. So it definitely is worth playing at three, which is kind of what, yeah, it's kind of why we played at three. You kind of want to see it as soon as possible. And uh, well, at 42 cards, it's uh, not something to complain about because probability is you're going to draw into more Cardians. You're not going to draw into one of your spells. You may, like, open one spell card in your opening hand. And if it's Desynchro, uh, I, I don't think anybody would complain if it was Desynchro. But yeah. So next we have Super Koi Koi, which is <laughs> a weird name. I always feel weird when I pronounce the name. But uh, it has one of the best effects, in my opinion, in the deck. So you activate the top three cards of your deck, and you special summon as many Flower Cardian monsters among them as possible, ignoring their summoning conditions. So it's already pretty good. Like, just you, you just look at your top three. So if you do it with Flower Stacking, um, you, you'll automatically get three. So, But the, problem, the thing is, I, I wouldn't do it after Flower Stacking. Like, if I have a guaranteed way to draw into those Cardians, I'm just going to do my little combo and, and get all those Cardians from and then after that, you super koi koi um, and take a risk with that. So their levels become two, and they have their effects negated. So the three monsters. So let's say you, you get three monsters, three cardio monsters. Uh, you special summon all three of them. Their levels become two, and they don't get their effects. So you don't draw any cards off of super koi koi. But um, you banish any remaining cards that you draw. So if you draw any spell cards off of super or Excavate any spell cards off of Super Koi Koi, they get spanished, and you take a thousand uh, life points for uh, every card that, that gets banished by this effect. So uh, if you draw one monster and two spells, you banish those two spells face down. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. And uh, you take two thousand. His, the, the great part about Super Koi Koi is that it has a graveyard effect that can be activated the turn it's sent to the graveyard. So you can banish this card from your graveyard and tribute one monster. Special summon one flower mo flower cardian monster from your hand, ignoring its summoning conditions. You can only activate one super koi koi per turn. So the graveyard effect is as many times as you want. So if you have multiple super koi koi in the graveyard, you can use both their effects um, in one turn. But like you can only activate the card once per turn. So uh, if if you want to tribute one of those dead. Um, Cardian monsters to summon out another Cardian monster, um, it definitely would not be a, a bad idea. Like, uh, if you have Willow with uh, Caligrapher in your hand, and Super Koi Koi in Grave, because Willow with Caligrapher is probably the only one you'd use that effect for, because he's the only one that requires a certain Cardian to summon. So you could just tribute it, summon Willow with Caligrapher, Willow with Caligrapher gets you another Cardian monster. And, uh, yeah, um... I think uh, it's it's probably one of the spell cards you kind of uh, want to see like uh, first turn, but you don't mind if it gets uh, discarded by a Cardian because you still have that second effect in Grave that can activate when it's sent to the graveyard. 
So, yeah, it's, it's definitely not bad. Uh, so, next we have Recardination, which is probably the best Cardian spell card out of all of them. And I'll tell you why. So, you target one Cardi Flower Cardian monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand, then you special in one Flower Cardian monster from your hand. So, even if you have no Cardian monsters in your hand, you just uh, special summon the one that you add back from the grave. But if you do, you get to add back any Cardian, like let's say you, you have like a Pine in Grave, and uh, you have like a, a Willow of Kalu for in your hand. So you add back the, the pine and then you can special summon the Willow of uh, Caligrapher, ignoring its summoning conditions. And uh, and Willow of uh, Caligrapher will uh, special, or will get you a card, not special. Uh, special summon the Cardian if it's a Cardian, obviously. But um, yeah, I mean, and then after that, you get to normal summon the pine and then you get to draw another card off of that. So. Um, card, card, re, recardination definitely has a lot of uses uh, for its first effect if you actually draw into it um, normally. Now, its second effect, which I think is a real good card, um, well, I think it's a real good uh, contingency um, just because of its second effect. So, if this card is sent to the graveyard by a flower cardium monster's effect, you can activate the top five cards of your deck, and if you do, add one excavated spell or trap card to your hand and then place the remaining cards on top of your deck in any order. So not only is it like a pseudo flower stacking, um, you have the option of um, searching a spell card when this card gets sent to the graveyard by a flower cardian's effect. So if you draw this card off of like a flower cardian and then it gets dropped, like you, you won't be mad versus any other spell card in, uh, in your deck, like you, you're gonna be losing out on something. Recardination, is actually the one that you want <laughs> to actually activate with a, or not activate, but draw off of a Cardian and then drop it if, um, since it, it won't be a Cardian monster. And so after that, like, let's say you have Desynchro um, in your top five, you get to add Desynchro and then change the order of your top five to like uh, suit uh, what you need. So it definitely does work well. And, um, the fact is, is that it, I, I think it's probably the best spell card in the deck. I mean, if I could run this deck with only flower stacking and, and recardination, I probably would. But these other spell cards are at least decent enough to uh, make their stay. And you, you kind of want to play three of them because you kind of want to see them all. But at the same time, you can't see them all in, in every duel. So it's like, it, it, it's, it's a bit contradicting, but it does work from time to time. So the last spell card we have in the deck is Flower Gathering. So you special summon all your base forms. So, and, and the way you, you even know this is because if you look at the image, it has the four images of the Cardians that you summon off of this card's effect. So uh, just something to keep in mind. So you would summon out your Pine, your Zebra Grass, your Willow, and your Polonia. And you have to have all four of them in your deck. So if you draw this mid game or late game, well, if you draw it period, you, you kind of have to have um, at least one copy of all four of those cards in your deck. Um, you, they have to be summoned in attack position and their effects are negated. And also they can be attributed for a tribute summon. I mean, I don't think that's a problem. But you can only activate one of these cards per turn. So you're gonna have one flower gathering per turn and you can't summon monsters except for Cardian monsters to turn you activate this effect. Oh man. So uh, with a card like uh, Willow and Zebra Grass and Polonia, like, you can summon out Willow with uh, Calligrapher after activating Flower Gathering. I mean, this card is like a plus three. So you get three cards, so you get four monsters off of one spell card. Um, it doesn't matter what card you have in your hand. You're probably, you're probably going to win. <laughs> if you can pull off a Flower Gathering and have at least 200 cardians in your hand, you're probably going to win unless you have terrible luck. <laughs> and, uh... The whole goal of this deck is kind of to, to get like a tuner and then go into a synchro by the end of your turn. So it, um, especially if you have something like a flower gathering, if, if you, like you kind of want a tuner to really make this whole thing worth it because you're gonna, cause you, you're just gonna be sitting here tributing and drawing for like at least like ten, five to 10 different times like per turn or at least in the first turn that you're able to do it. You're gonna be at least doing it like five times, like maybe 10 times. And uh, you kind of want to, you kind of want to draw it into the best stuff possible. And uh, the thing is that with a card like Flower Gathering, where you, your field, your field is already full after activating this card, 
Um, it definitely helps um, keep uh, the consistency because then it's easier to make your first synchro. And when it's easy to make one synchro, it makes it even easier to make the second because then after that, like let's say you keep a curtain in your hand and the curtain draws and you draw into something good and then you get a special another one and you just keep going. So, I mean, it's even good after you uh, summon out your first light flare. And uh, let's say maybe you bring back Willow and then, um, it, it definitely it definitely works well. The only problem the only problem I have with it is that it gets you nothing off of excavating it. So if you excavate it, you're gonna feel bad because like you don't get anything, and then you just lost the cardium monsters, especially with uh, curtain. Because um, with curtain, and then you you get flower gathering. It's like you drop both your flower gathering and your curtain, so it feels like a waste. But um, it definitely is amazing when it actually works. So just be wary of that. So next we play one Ultimaya, as I said before, with Willow, with Calligrapher and Willow. Um, there is a chance you can have them both on the field at the same time. And since Willow is a level 11 non-tuner, and Willow with Calligrapher is level 11 tuner, you send them both to the graveyard and summon out Ultimaya. Just uh, remember that you, you, uh, you, you can do this if you summon Willow by its effect. Like maybe if you summon Willow, Willow with like Flower Gathering or something. And then like, or like off of like another Cardian's effect. But if you summon Willow by its own effect, you don't be able to summon out Flower Cardians for the turn, so. Um, it's not something you're gonna do every duel. Like, honestly, I think the only two extra deck monsters you're gonna be worried about every single duel is Light Flare and Light Shower. Those are the two that you just focus on. The others are just here as like a just in case, you know? Uh, maybe Board Fly if you know like the deck you're facing, but uh, we'll go into that a little more later. And uh, the, th the second thing about Ultima is that um, for him to activate his effect, you'd have to have a spell card in your hand. So you'd also have to have at least one spell card to set so that you could special summon um, Crystal Wing from your extra deck. So just be wary of that. But if you can't do that, if you don't have a spell card, but you still have Willow and Willow of Curligrapher, and you want to go into something, you can use this other guy right here, um, Bish Balkan, right? I assume. And uh, now he can't be destroyed by card effects. He gains a thousand attack for each monster in the field. And uh, he has the effect where during unit player's main phase, he can them any number of tokens as long as the same number on each side. Um, and uh, but you know he can't attack for that turn. So you probably use it during your opponent's turn, like just summon out. Like let's say you have him in the level ten synchro. So there'll be two monsters on your field. So you have a maximum of three tokens to summon to both sides of the field. So both sides get three tokens, and uh, that would be eight monsters on the field, so he would have 8,000. An 8,000 hitter who can't be destroyed by card effects. And, um, yeah. You can also uh, use those tokens for Super Koi Koi, um, in case you have Super Koi Koi, in your graveyard during your turn. Super Koi Koi can uh, banish and then uh, tribute one of those tokens, especially on a Cardian, and then you can just keep going from there, so. Um, definitely doesn't hurt just to have him there. He's more just in a just-in-case type of thing, but um, I don't think you'll, you'll ever actually uh, use him that much either. So next up, we have our Flower Cardian Light Flare. And so he requires one tuner plus four non-tuners, so you pretty much just five Cardian monsters with one of the tuners. Um, also, understand that if you summon out a tuner with Super Koi Koi, um, the tuners will have its effect negated. So um, you won't be able to use... Uh, n like Cardians that aren't level 2s for a Synchro Summon. So just, just be aware of that um, as well. So once per turn during either player's turn where your opponent activates a Spell Chop card, you can negate the activation. If you do, uh, destroy the card. So he's just like a Sheen, and that's really what attracted me to this deck. Like This guy is a 5,000 attack hitter that can that has the same effect as Legendary 6 Samurai Sheen. Not only that, he has two more effects that just make him like crazy. So if a flower cardian monster you control battles an opponent's monster, that opponent's monster has its effects negated during the battle phase only. So for, for the entirety of the battle phase, that monster, that any cardian monster battles has its effect negated. And um, the fact is, is that if your opponent tries to summon out lightning, or if your opponent has a lightning and you go into this guy, lightning can't activate its effect. Uh, its effect will be negated. And uh, since it's, this is a continuous effect, lightning can't stop this effect from happening as well. 
And this applies for any flower cardian monster. And so that allows you to use a curtain as well. So less in case, so just in case uh, you only have a cardian that has 2,000 attack, you, you use your uh, cherry blossom of curtain during the uh, damage step. So it's definitely helpful. So his last effect is uh, when he is, uh, when this face up singer summon card on the field is destroyed by battle or leaves the field because of an opponent's card effect. Not not just destroyed, but leaves the field. So if he gets banished, if he gets sent back to the hand, sent back to the action deck or whatever, he special summon one flower cardio monster from your deck, from your extra deck, uh, except for another copy of himself. So you get to summon out Light Shower or Board Fly or even Moonflower, but Moonflower isn't out yet in TCG. So yeah. Uh, so pretty much he kind of replaces himself if he, if he gets destroyed. The only, the only thing that really can, can like shut this card off is like a kaiju and um so yeah if, if they kaiju you you're, you're gonna be a little salty so it should just be wary of kaijus because kaijus will actually just wreck this deck but um if not then they're gonna have quite a hard time getting over this card um they can destroy it with monster effects obviously monster effects are all still um fair game but thanks to flower cardi and light shower that might not be a reality so one tuner plus three or more non-tuners, and this guy has 3,000 attack both ways versus Light Shower, I mean Light Flare, who only has zero defense but 5,000 attack. So you can summon him in either position, it doesn't really matter. Um, your opponent cannot target flower cardio monsters you control with card effects, also those monsters cannot be destroyed by card effects. So while Light Shower is on the field, your cardians cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects, which just makes it, so which makes it that when you have uh, Light Flare and Light Shower on the field at the same time, it's pretty godly. And um, his his other effect is that during your opponent's draw phase, if they draw a card for their normal draw, inflict 1,500 damage to your opponent, just free. Like they just take 1,500 if they if they draw a card for their draw phase. So, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's pretty, it's pretty much gonna happen every turn that this guy's on the field. Only one problem with this card. So, once per turn during your opponent's end phase, you activate one of these effects. Now, the sentence says activate, it does actually start a chain. The thing is, is that if they saw him strike you, um, he, he isn't destroyed because any no flower guardians can actually be destroyed by card effects. So if they strike his uh, end phase effect, which I don't think they would, but I, I played one guy that did, and uh, he got pretty salty. <laughs> but... Um, you, you have to activate one of his effects. So you either have to skip your skip your draw phase of your turn. So you, you, you completely don't get to draw a card. Or you um, negate Light Shower's effects for until your opponent's standby phase. So that means pretty much for the entirety of your turn and um, until after they draw a card. And then his effect goes back up again. So it only really applies during your opponent's turn. But even then, it's like, do you... Or well, do you really want to risk it, and do you want to give him that 1500? Do you want to draw a card or give him that 1500 and protect all your cardians? Now, there are some times where I would advocate just to skip your draw face. And the reason why I would say that is because you have flower stacking. If you milled flower stacking during your first turn or during, or during your previous turn and you have light shower in your hand, you just use flower stacking and bring back any Cardian monster that you want. So instead of, it may not be as good as a normal draw, or it may be even better than a normal draw sometimes, because most times you will have every Cardian in your graveyard after like a turn of like, especially something like five or six Cardians, you know? You're probably gonna have one copy of every Cardian in your graveyard. So you're probably gonna be able to get what you need. Maybe a Pine, maybe a Zebra Grass, maybe a Willow. I would probably get Willow and just shuffle back something and then draw one card. And yeah, so, not only that, but your uh, Cardians get protected as well, and your opponent will take another 1,500 damage uh, during their next draw phase. So it is uh, something that really is an uh, intimidating card, and mixed with uh, Light Flare, I think it's one of the deadliest combos this deck can bring forth. But uh, yeah, so after that, we have Crystal Wing. Crystal Wing is only here because of Ultimaya. I don't think you would be able to summon him uh, any other way, but... Uh, yeah, just crystal one. So next we have double flower cardian uh, board fly. 
And so what he does is that he's he requires three since he's level six, one tuner, two non-tuners. And if a flower carding monster you control attacks a defense mission monster, you get to inflict piercing damage. So <laughs> if he if you have him on the field with light flare, if he if light flare attacks and pierces, um, that's five thousand being dealt to a defense mission monster. That is a lot of damage. Okay, <laughs> so uh, just be just be aware of that. And uh, also, um, during your turn, you get to banish a flower cardian monster from your graveyard. And until the enemy or opponent's next turn, your opponent cannot activate effects of cards in the graveyard. Also, they cannot special the monsters from the graveyard. So first turn, if you use Boardfly, um, he 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 is like uh, one of the best floodgates uh, in the deck. So. Um, there are a lot of uh, graveyard um, focused decks, and he just stops all graveyard effects, and um, he also stops them from summoning from the graveyard. So it definitely makes him very helpful uh, first turn. Like, like if you like if you could um, only do like a light flare and like a board fly first turn, like that might not be a bad play, or a light shower and a board fly first turn might not be a bad play. Just don't forget to banish a cardian from the grave, because. Realistically, if you summon the two synchros, you're gonna have like a stack of cardians in the graveyard, at least eight of them. So, um, just be wary of that as well. And next, we have Flower Cardian Moonflower, which hasn't been released in TCG yet, but she's pretty much um, once per turn you get to use the effect of a cardian. So, uh, you get to draw a card, and if it's um, a cardian, you special summon it, ignoring the summoning conditions. If not, you. Um, Oh wait, it actually doesn't, <laughs> you don't actually have to discard it if it is a, if it isn't a flower cardio monster. You just have to reveal a card that you draw. Um, but you have to skip your next draw phase. That, that's the only downside. So pretty much you draw for your draw phase. Um, but if you have a light shower on the field, that won't be a problem because you're probably going to skip your draw phase anyway. So Moonflower definitely helps. Um, and then you get special on that cardio monster, ignoring some of the conditions. And then that flower cardio monster gets to attack directly. It may not be a big deal if it's one of the base forms because it's only 100, but if you get a Willow with Calligrapher or a or one of the generic ones or even a Curtain, that's 2,000 damage directly or 1,000 damage directly, which it still isn't bad, um, especially since um, you might have Light Shower or you might have a Light Flare on the field. So it's going to be real intimidating. It, it may be even hard for your opponent to really like stop this type of stuff. So one old entity, Haster. So he's a level 4. So he's just in the case where you like super koi koi and um, you don't have like any other, like you only have a tuner and a non-tuner. They're both level two. You just go into level four monster. I think he's the best level four synchro out there. And uh, just play one copy of him, like just in case um, you ever need to go into him. Uh, you know, cause you know, uh, this guy's level 10, so he would require five and then uh, light shower is level four, so you would require eight, and then board flies level six, you require three. So if you have three of those synchros on the field, you only have space for two monsters. And so, if you ever just need something to go with or go into with those two monsters, you can use old entity Haster, and uh, he's definitely not bad. When you send from the field to the graveyard, um, you target a face of monster. Well, monsters onto the graveyard. You target a face of monster your opponent controls. Equip it to the monster. That monster can attack. Also, it has its effects negated. And if this card leaves the field while equipped to a monster, you get to take control of that monster it was equipped to. So it's kind of like a double benefit. Um, if you go Maple with Deer after equipping him, you get to basically just take control of the monster that you equip him to. So um, it's definitely very helpful. So next up, we have a few exceeds, which aren't really essential, but they definitely do help. So we have Draco Sack, uh, just in case you want to make big boards. I mean, not big boards. Uh, I want to pop monsters. Uh, the level 7 is Clover with Boar, so if you have two of those on field, you just make a Draco Sack. And the level 6 is Peony with Butterfly, so if you have two of those on board and you don't feel like going into a Synchro, uh, you can go into a Utopia Beyond. Honestly, the the Exceeds that you use are really, really optional. It's like, unless, <laughs> I was even thinking, like, you could play Galaxy Queen's Light in this deck, so um, just. So you can kind of be like. Do whatever you want with the uh, exceeds in this deck, and lastly, the last uh, exceed that you play simply because you play Super Koi Koi, which makes them level two, is Sky Cavalry Centuria. Um, 
side deck uh a side deck isn't necessary because this deck kind of plays the same way the entire time it kind of requires because of the whole card like you have to draw into a cardian thing playing anything in the side deck would just be a, like a hindrance like it like maybe a hand trap or two but even then if you draw it during your turn using cardian you're you're just hindering yourself this deck can be very explosive because like they all just special summon each other like they all just special summon just keep special summoning and you just keep doing that until you make synchros and uh so there are some times where like a board like that can even like um really stop like or limit what your opponent can do especially since you have a shien so if you can make that first turn that that will definitely um work and uh yeah man this can be a really uh semi-competitive deck it's like uh even like topped once in like europe so um there's a Glasgow you give video about it. And uh, you, you just have to keep the deck pure, man. So me and uh, Demarion Gaming, um, this this deck profile mostly came from him um, because I, I wasn't sure of the ratios to to use and he just pointed me in the right direction. So yeah, shout outs to him. Uh, that's his dueling book and his Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Percy name. So um, in, in, in any case you want to contact him and be like, oh, Cardians are lit. Um, I appreciate the way you built the deck or anything like that. You know, just just hit him up. And if you made it this far, put hashtag Cardians are lit in the uh, in the comment section below. Uh, this was Nisho here. Um, duels uh, are going to be up later, maybe. And then uh, I'll have another version of this deck um, being up tomorrow, which will be a shorter version of the deck, or shorter deck profile, because I've already explained everything here. I'm just going to explain the tech card, what it does, and I'm going to put duels in that video as well. So I'm going to... I'm going to do uh, one of those videos where it's like a mixture between a deck profile and Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duels. It's going to be my first time doing that since I've been doing nothing but deck profiles and Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duels this entire week. So it's going to be a little different, but um, I am going to spend a complete weekend playing Street Fighter. So um, don't expect any videos this weekend past tomorrow. But uh, if there are, then, you know, obviously you should enjoy them. But again, you know, if you made it this far, hashtag Cardians are lit in the comments. I know, I know I ramble on so much because I feel the need to discuss and talk about every single card. Guys, remember, you don't always have to watch the whole video at once. If you feel overwhelmed, I always leave the deck list in the description. And I always leave, um, and you always have the option just to pause it, go do something else and come back. I know not everybody has the opportunity to watch 30, 40, maybe even 50 minute videos, like sit down and watch it in a row, you know, like watch 50 minutes of just me talking about Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But if you do, um, I appreciate it. If you don't, like you just cut up into parts, you know. Um, eventually I, I may just start like uh, putting timestamps for when I talk about certain cards. So that um, it, it can be easier to navigate for uh, the user. So I'm um, definitely, definitely look forward to that. Um, and I think that's all I have to say for now. My stomach hurts so much because I've been talking for 50 minutes in a row. I don't know how some people can do it. <laughs> it just hurts so much. Oh, man, it's like I, 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 like I haven't taken like a deep breath and like and it's like I'm talking so much, like so much air is going out that I feel like I'm kind of like suffocating a bit, but. You know, I do it for you guys. Anyway, this was Nisho here. Cardian deck profile. Cardian to lit in the comments. Hashtag. See you guys later. Peace.